It's Victory Monday. Let's go ahead and get into some stats, some quotes, some updates from the Eagles game yesterday. Ooh, if I could have paid to be in that locker room post game, I wanted to feel the vibe. I felt the defense on that field yesterday. After the game winning interception, Reed Blankenship told the team, we came in here and we effing dominated. I wanna ride and die with this effing team. And Jayla Hurts' face in the background is just everything. Reed Blankenship always has an interception in his pocket when we need it, bruh. I wanna ride and die with this team makes me wanna cry because y'all know it's so many moments where we just feel like the players give up. So to see that performance and to hear this, means everything. Anywho, y'all see this big chain Reed is wearing? Jalen Carter and CJGJ said they gave Reed Blankenship their chains after that interception. Speaking of Jalen Carter, yesterday, my goodness, the Aaron Donald comparisons are starting to show. Three pressures, two hurries, a quarterback hit, two batted passes, and four stops. And speaking of CJGJ, CJGJ was sounding off after the game. In the locker room, he said, they ain't no contenders, they're pretenders. They have Derek Carr. Remember that. Talk about the Saints. Y'all, one thing about CJ, he gonna speak his mind. He also blew a kiss to the New Orleans Saints GM and said, y'all caused this. Now, y'all know CJ, GJ, and the Saints obviously have a lot of history. CJ, GJ, and Jalen Carter are the grittiness, the talk sheetiness that this Eagles defense needs. Speaking of former Saints players that are now balling with the birds, Zach freaking Bond. Zach Bond has been on a tear for Philly. Zach Bond had a phenomenal game yesterday against the Saints, his former team in the, in the Superdome. Through three games, Zach Bond has 37 tackles, leads the league, two sacks, two quarterback hits, a tackle for loss, and two stops on fourth down. It's time to go ahead and buy my Zach Bond jersey. Let me stop playing with the man. This duo right here. When the defense gets pressure, it makes it so much easier for these guys to do their jobs. Slay. Big play slay yesterday. Quinyon growing up so fast. When targeted yesterday, Quinyon Mitchell, three of five, 29 yards. Derek Carr had a 64 QB rating. Slay, one of two, nine yards. Derek Carr had a 56 QB rating. The future, and right now, is bright for this Eagles defense. Pivoting to the offense real quick, Fred Johnson and Tyler Steen held it the down yesterday. Makai Becton went out. Lane Johnson went out. Fred Johnson, Tyler Steen thrown into the fire and held that G down. An offense that had no Lane Johnson, no Makai Becton, no A.J. Brown, no Devontae Smith, no Britton Covey, which we're going to get into, was still able to drive down the field and get those two touchdowns. Saquon was able to break off of those big runs. Jalen Hurst was able to get those balls off. Shout out to Fred Johnson and Tyler Steen. What they did yesterday, with all the adversity, inspiring. Speaking of Britton Covey, Britton Covey did suffer a broken bone in his shoulder. He's expected to miss six weeks at least. It was so hard seeing Britton Covey go down when, when AJ Brown got hurt. Britton Covey really stepped up. Gangwell, John Dodson, Will Shipley, gonna have to step up. Speaking of injuries, it's so good that we have that early bye week now, cause we need it. When the schedule dropped and I saw we had a bye week after week five, I was like, dang, we need a bye week later in the year. Cause usually you get your injuries around mid season, but uh, -uh you know, we getting all of our injuries now. So it's a blessing that we have this early bye week coming up where guys can get healthier. Last but not least, Nick Sirianni greeted a whole bunch of Eagles fans after the game, but that does not negate the fact that I'm over Nick Sirianni. I'm gonna leave it there.